डॉक्टर्स वर्ष लैब साइंटिफिक डायरेक्टर विद जीवा फर्टिलिटी सेंटर्स डस थायरॉयड इफेक्ट फर्टिलिटी इन फीमेल्स एंड इज देयर अ ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट the malfunction of thyroid gland well your thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped organ in the front of your neck that produces hormones that regulate your body's metabolism and affect vital functions the relationship between your thyroid health and fertility is a very important and sometimes complex part of conception so what are the thyroid disorders they refer to a group of disorders that cause dysregulation or rather malfunctioning of the thyroid gland so it results in either overproduction which is called as hyperthyroidism or underproduction which is called as hypothyroidism of thyroid hormones which are triiodothyronine t3 or thyroxine t4 the most common hypothyroid disorder is the autoimmune condition hashimotos which is predominant in women and that's what we are going to talk about graves disease is also another autoimmune condition and it is most common cause of hyperthyroidism so how can thyroid disorders affect your fertility especially when it comes to female we are going to talk about that hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism can definitely each negatively impact fertility both the ability to become pregnant and the ability to carry the fetus to term the presence of autoimmune antibodies it could be with or without hyper or hypothyroidism it can impact your fertility so if autoimmune antibodies are present whether you have hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism you could still be infertile when you have any type of thyroid disorders it could be without uh, proper medical management you will see a luteal phase defect i will explain to you what it is basically once the egg ovulates the phase of your menstrual cycle where the fertilization might happen the endometrium is getting ready with blood flow and proper progesterone supply this is called as a luteal phase and in women where they have these thyroid issues or disorders luteal phase disruption is very common now this is mediated by progesterone levels if a thyroid disorder is unregulated as as an untreated a patient could have difficulty in getting pregnant because there will not be any implantation so you see if the progesterone levels are not proper the embryo even if it is formed it will not implant onto the endometrium of the uterus you could also experience early miscarriage because of the incomplete implantation so in such cases recurrent miscarriages are also very common let's talk about hypothyroidism and fertility well too little thyroid hormones can impact fertility in a number of ways there could be disruption of the menstrual cycle Uh, making it harder to conceive as in there could be very far apart there could be too frequent therefore it becomes very difficult for you to plan pregnancy there could be an interference with the release of egg from the ovaries that is what we talk about ovulation they could be disrupted as well there is a high risk of miscarriage and a very high risk of premature birth hypothyroidism is the most common disorder in women and uh, can be often detected with just a simple blood test of thyroid stimulating hormone however many women despite of all the facilities available still remain undetected or undiagnosed especially women with ill defined or subclinical hypothyroidism uh, you know when it, where it is not very evident uh, th- that they have hypothyroidism so what are the symptoms frequent or heavy menstrual cycles uh, um, fatigue muscle soreness forgetfulness sometimes dry skin and hair there is a uh, lot of weight gain and uh, more often than not intolerance to cold let's talk about hyperthyroidism the autoimmune condition graves disease is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism which is overproduction too much thyroid hormone caused by hyperthyroidism can affect fertility it can disrupt your menstrual cycle it can increase the chance of a early term miscarriage it can also as with hypothyroidism also risk for premature birth is high now patients with uh, hyperthyroidism are typically kept on the lowest effective dose of their medication even during pregnancy because these medications can cross the placenta therefore the dosage is reduced so if you have a dis- uh, history of hyperthyroidism it's very important that you uh, that you consult with your doctor you tell them your condition in fact they will check your conditions when you are pregnant also prescribe medications which are very important that you take them regularly if you want to understand more about this and uh, want to see what your treatment options could be with the disorders of hypo or hyperthyroidism please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you